Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Michael DiCarlo here for DiCarlosDanger.com. And you know what? I may have misplaced a very valuable tool. Oh, I did. I think I see it. I'll be right back. Be right back. Hang on a second. You know what a submariner, retired submariner, like the submarine chief, enjoys after a day of sitting here producing videos after going out and gripping some palms and shaking hands and passing out some business cards and talking to some good people here down on the southwestern border in the most ignored county that gets the most amount of money, probably for any, for the least amount of people in it in the United States of America. Well, I can tell you, I enjoy every once in a while. Sierra Nevada beer. It's called, ironically enough, it's called a torpedo. You know, <laughs> while I was on the USS Bremerton, back in the day, I'm not living a prior life, I'm just talking about some experiences that I had. Oh, and by the way, today is Tuesday. It is 4.42 in the evening on the 16th of October, in the year of our Lord, 2018. Uh, back to the Bremerton. I had a, those in here, I'm there for nearly five years. And I had worked really with some really great Americans. Uh, both in the city and officer. Uh, one of them's a professor of practice now. And the other one goes and addresses, my XO goes and addresses Congress. Uh, not on a daily basis, but he goes to quite a few of those attends quite a few of the briefings provided to the Congressional Oversight Committees. And you even get to see my current Congress lady in it once in a while. Well, let me tell you part of the motivation of what started me on down this path. While in the Bremerton, at the tail end of the Clinton administration, we were required to do a lot more with a lot less. What do I mean by that? I mean, our budgets were sliced and diced every year, but the missions never went down. We were placed in areas to be or create distractions to take the heat off the administration and change the narrative on the nightly news. Fortunately, we worked tirelessly, not necessarily to create the distractions and the international incidents, but to not dominate the nightly news, to change the paradigm for you. actually screened for the presidential communication staff. A couple things I had going for me. One, I was had been going on sea duty for nearly four years, so I was a little bit thicker than normal. And uh, two, I really couldn't go there because if you recall, the Bush-Gore election was so close that if President Bush's brother wasn't in Florida, he may not have won that election. It actually went to the Supreme Court, if you recall, where they opined on what should be and what should not be. What does this have to do with nowadays? Well, Those cuts have gone, went away, and the budget got inflated again because scientific principles were violated but yet broadcast on the national news to the folks who made them feel like they were there. 
and created fear amongst the population in order to provide a method to stimulate more federal spending. It wasn't that federal spending really ever got cut, but it was threatened in such a way that perhaps a diversion was created in order to, in order to herd and shape the population to be more uh, open to warfare with others. Neither here nor there. Well, actually, it is everywhere. But you can't change the past. All you can do is try to learn from it. So, what are things that we can learn from the past? That as soon as most a certain level of the population becomes aware of what is the game being, what the game is actually being played all around them, then an event may occur to redirect and overrun that population's train of thought, perhaps. Usually, they come around scandalous situations. $2.3 $2 trillion missing deserved an insurance recuperate, recoup, I guess. I don't know. But I really find it odd that certain areas that are always doing audits or are always doing studies are always the areas that are targeted for destruction. Certain areas of the Pentagon, the Murrah building in Oklahoma City with the study for the vaccinations that were faulty, that were provided to people like me, Gulf War veterans. Why would some of those areas be targeted? Could they be targeted to destroy the evidence that was centrally located for a study? Put it all in one place, make it all disappear? Well, possibly. It's a valid, it's a valid thought process. I mean, if you think about I mean, Pearl Harbor, for instance, all the fleet was concentrated in one area. Why was it concentrated in one area? Was it concentrated to make it a bigger target? Or did concentrating in that area make it a bigger target while the concentration was meant to cost down the, cut down on the fuel costs of using, using the Navy for what it is, was, was designed for to maintain the shipping lanes open for freedom of trade and to collect the tariffs for the imports and exports that are were being conducted. Not collect the tariffs, but to make sure that those shipping lanes are open so that the tariffs can be conducted, can, can be <coughs> levied on the trade to fund the military, to fund the Navy. Well, anyway, yesterday I was watching this, the new movie release, or the the Pentagon briefing for the new movie release for these submar submariners. I think it's called Hunter Killer or something like that, done in England. Then in Great Britain, and the guy had, the guy was a Scotsman, just like uh, the other fella that did Red October. Uh, I remember Red October came out while I was in submarine school. Recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. It's a recruiting met method. It's a... It's a A soft, soft drop of information, kind of. Anytime. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Everything serves a purpose. Kind of train of thought. Well, anyway. I don't know. Well, any, my phone number, if you want to text me, is 520-266-3288. If you'd like to text me about things to talk about, if you'd like to t text me about political stance or political stuff that I'm currently involved in, more power to you. I'd be more than happy to answer it with you and maybe we'll do a video together where we put you on speakerphone and do this stuff right here. Bye.
It matters not to me. What matters to me is that we all become the, we all put on our, put down our muckrakes and we all put on our own individual crowns that we all deserve. We're all individually and collectively much more powerful than any government that will ever become over, over us and that can ever be put over us. Because American ingenuity has always saved the day. It always has. It's individuals like you, others, and myself that can come to a conclusion to create a solution. There's this fella named Steve Motley. I've been talking about him to folks for about a year now. And he's got a pretty good subscription base. And it's expanding. There's another fella. He's BCP. Instead of ballast control panel, it's Black Conservative Patriot. I think he said his uh, original title was Black Patriot Hippie. Something like that. I don't know. Or Black Conservative Hippie. I don't know. But I'm glad he picked up Patriot because his channel is expanding leaps and bounds. And it's kind of wonderful to see. What I'm trying to tell you folks is that the world's upside down, especially when it comes to government. No child left behind means every child left is left behind. The Patriot Act doesn't protect you. What it does is it, it quells dissent. This country was made on dissent. Without dissent, all we have is a king and a ruler and a ruling class. If we're not dissenting on what the government's doing, we're losing already. You cannot ever, never no one will ever be happy with everything government does. And you shouldn't be. Because every time it does something, it's less the opportunity that you have to do something for yourself. And by that I mean it's less liberty that you have in your life. You, we delegate our representation to our elected leader, or elect, to our elected people to represent us. We never, ever surrender our rights. Our rights are inalienable. They come from our Creator. If a, if a government says that you have that right, you have that right because the Creator gave it to you, not because the government provided it to you. If a government provides you something, it can take it away. And when it takes it away, then you'll be upset and you can't understand how you got in that position to begin with. History, if you break it down, is his story. His is the victor. The victor always tells the tale. It usually tells the tale to, of the conquered, conquered foe and it actually adapts some of, its, some of its tactics that were successful. I would suggest some of you would look into Operation Paperclip uh, MK Ultra. Look into also uh, Operation or Paperclip and MK Ultra would be two good places to start. You could also look into a, just pick up a geography book or not geography, a geology book, and figure out the hardness strengths, the difference between aluminum and steel. You could also look up the melting point of steel. You could also look up, I don't know, you can find you can find this on YouTube would be uh, Las Vegas building collapses when they collapse casinos and they build new ones because they get too old and they're not uh, it's not cost effective to update them or somebody bought the property and doesn't want that type of building on there anymore. And then that, compare them to events, well, in my life, or events within the last, say, 20 years that uh have certain things that are considered fact and try to validate them against any scientific principles. We've been lied to for a very long time, folks. It's not just that we've been lied to. It's just no, not very pe many people understand the depths that your government will actually go to conceal things from you. I've operated a drain pump on a nuclear-powered submarine before. You want to drain the swamp? I think I know a fellow. The depths that they will go to conceal something from you is beyond your comprehension. My name is Michael DiCarlo. I'm going to keep this at 15 minutes. We're going to try, I'm going to try to do this more often. I really enjoy interacting with you. If you can text me, 520-266-3288, or email me at michael at decarloenterprises.net. We'll get back together. Take care of yourself. We'll see you later.